because number one you don't know their family history you don't know what they are battling with you don't know exactly what the parent is doing to actually cut you don't know the emotional and the mental state of those that you actually want to pass the comment <laughs> back to my youtube channel your girl here as usual yes if you're coming across my video for the first time i am christina kelvin and i film on faith motherhood parenting christian lifestyle and all the good stuffs from lagos nigeria yes and um for my returning subscribers i say thank you so very much for always coming to support this girl and you know for the new viewers on my channel for the new person people that are just clicking on this they are just seeing this beautiful face for the first time i say welcome and please do well to join this growing family by pressing the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it. it's very important so today actually i have them um, so let me just be telling you now that i may be using this particular outfit for two weeks i had a plan to film a, a particular video entirely but you know this pop up to me it's just pop up in my brain because it happened to me recently it's just happened to me yesterday and you know the the, the, the memory is still very fresh in my mind and that is we being careful of how we pass comments to other people's children or babies. So some of us are actually not in the knowing of this that is very bad, or and, and that we need to be very careful and cautious of how we pass comments to other people's children, especially for someone probably a new time mom or you know anybody whatsoever, be a new time, a third time or three or a second time mom, please. You can always resist the hodge of always passing comments. See, it won't kill you if you don't see any. Just resist the hodge of always passing comments about people's baby, please. And I've, I see, I've seen this a, a lot among we women. It's actually women. It's actually women that do this a lot to each other. Yeah. Okay. So what happened yesterday was that where I went out actually and. Um, I was feeding my baby, it was in a public place. So I, I brought her my baby's feet and I was feeding her. And you know, I didn't know that this woman was actually looking at us the way I was feeding her, right? So once she was done feeding, immediately she finished her food. I just said, Oh, mama, so you finished that food? I was like, Okay, were you expecting her not to finish the food in the first place? And she goes, No wonder you are big. When she said that, I, I took it in. And on the second thought, I'm like, what would you even say to a, to someone's child that she's big? And come to think of it, my baby is not a big baby. She's not on the big side. She's just me. She's just the way she, she's normal. And you know, the way we comment, that is how we start. That I see that as being body shaming. You know, you start body shaming even a child that does not know right or wrong even before they you know they come to terms with what you are saying i remember someone also saying to her that i remember someone calling her fatty bomb bomb and then i called the boy back i said what did you just call her she said he said fatty bomb bomb i said is that her name he said no so why would you call her fatty bomb bomb he said because she's fat i said never in your life will you, will you say she's fat how how many fat does she even have she she's weighing the appropriate way she's supposed to weigh so you know this really actually got to me i'm like why why do we need to do this to ourselves why will you be body shaming a baby so now in in the actual sense what the woman was saying that i'm overfeeding her meanwhile she's not even eating up to the quantity of food she's supposed to be eating but because of the kind of bowl i'm using you know the bowl will all the small baby bowls now it will make the food look like voluminous meanwhile the something the circumference is not so wide so please let us stop. It won't kill you if you keep quiet. If we even want to say something, if you can't be polite enough to know that what you, you're about to say might actually hurt the person's emotion, then keep quiet. They won't kill you. See, I've seen babies that are actually very big, I mean, on your best side. And I just keep quiet. Because number one, you don't know their family history. You don't know what they are battling with. You don't know exactly what the parent is doing to actually cut. You don't know the emotional and the mental state of those that you actually want to pass that comment to. And this should actually go to every one of us, not just to even um, those holding baby alone. But you know, I just had to address this baby issue. There's this other one that I saw on social media. The girl, this is a four-year-old girl. She has very long hair. And she was telling her mom, mom, please, can you just tell people to stop? 
the mom was like stop what people are always asking me is this your hair is this your hair is this your hair? i'm tired imagine a four-year-old girl saying that so please we should do better you don't know how tiring it could be when you are be opinionated about how people's look about their how they dress about how they eat about their weight about their hair please stop especially we women let us stop and let's be more polite I, I, I remember someone saying that um, they will even come and talk and in a baby's hair. A stranger God. Sincerely, a stranger talking and in your baby hair. Even I'm the one, sincerely, I might slap that person. Because I don't even want to know if you have good intentions or bad intentions. Why will you just come from nowhere and dig your hand into my baby's hair? Because you want to confirm if it's a hair or not. <laughs> what I, sincerely, there is nothing we won't see oh, on this planet here. But please, let it stop. It won't kill you. It won't hurt you to keep quiet. And just, you know, keep whatever you have in your mind, whatever you've observed. It won't kill you to keep it to yourself. And please, next time, if you want to pass a comment, if you like, oh, it's important for you to actually say this, make it polite. Exactly, my darling. Make it polite. Stop saying that. Ah, why is the baby this thing? Oh, no wonder she's big. Oh, no wonder she's thin. Let's say I should put this out there for someone because some people might actually not know that it's hot thin and it's not good. All right, so please let it show them one or two from this video. It's taking home something. If you don't know that it's bad before, now know that it's bad. For you to be passing your unnecessary comment to people's baby, let it stop. And even unless you comment to people's body, how they look, how they are dressed, how their hair is, and all that, let it stop. I hope this has actually blessed you that it's important to stop that, alright? It's not cool. See you in the next. Bye for now.